Hello, I am Aviva Lee, reporting live in Jerusalem from Room 552 for Israel 24-6 TV. Today is Sunday, the 16th of March, 2008. Welcome to this breaking news report with information just issued from the Israel Defense Force personnel, and I quote, 87 trucks of humanitarian aid, meat, fish, vegetables, fruit, pasta, and baby food being transferred today to Gaza through Kerem Shalom and the Sufa crossings, end quote. And this in spite of the fact that in the last two weeks, Mr. Abu Mazen has been quoted in English language publications as having described Israel's self-defense against terrorism as a holocaust and as an ethnic cleansing. I would like to know if Abu Mazen understands the implications of his statements. I would like to know if Abu Mazen has ever visited the Yad Vashem Museum to educate himself about the definition of the words ethnic cleansing or holocaust. Certainly now the allies of Israel perhaps need to evaluate the motives of Abu Mazen and try to discover why he would make such comments in light of the Annapolis precedent. Just when did Abu Mazen decide that there was a holocaust taking place in Gaza when the sovereign state of Israel defended herself and her population from the tireless onslaught of illegal terrorist organizations such as the Islamic Jihad and the Hamas? Just when did Abu Mazen decide that the military response of the sovereign state of Israel to the countless rockets and Qassams being launched almost daily by Arab terrorists who wished to annihilate the Jewish state amounted to ethnic cleansing? Is this the posture and belief that Abu Mazen has held all along, but has uh, not voiced until now so that he could be painted by the international media as a moderate Muslim and thus be painted as a valid Muslim Arab peace broker with the sovereign state of Israel? My personal question to Mr. Mazen is, do you know how many tons of food and humanitarian aid were sent to the Jewish ghettos by the Nazi regime? And do you know, Mr. Mazen, how many tons of food and humanitarian aid were sent to the six million, yes, six million, who perished in the Nazi attempt to realize the completion of Hitler's final solution? Mr. Mazen, your response is most welcome. To the Yad Vashem Museum, I wish to say, if Abu Mazen has never been invited to visit the museum, perhaps it is time an official invitation was issued. For the Arab listening world, I would also like to announce that there is now an internet site in Arabic concerning the historical data documenting the Holocaust and the ethnic cleansing which we Jewish people endured in Europe under the Nazi regime. Quoting Prince El Hassan bin Talal of Jordan, broadcasting in which he said, this educational website on the Holocaust in the Arabic language presents a unique opportunity to learn about and understand the issues which are, which are not only of historical import, but are also vital to our lives today." End quote. In light of the acknowledgement of the definition of Holocaust by thousands of Arab and Muslim brethren who share a common heritage with Abu Mazen, I hope that at least one of them will contact Mr. Mazen and ask him for his definition of the words Holocaust and ethnic cleansing. Then perhaps they will also invite Mr. Mazen to go to his computer and visit the newly launched Arabic pages, information pages on the official website for the Yad Vashem Museum. That web address is www.yadvashem.org. Or perhaps even Prince El Hassan bin Talal of Jordan will visit the museum with Mr. Mazen. Mr. Mazen, I just received confirmation from personnel with the Israel Defense Force that last week there were 570 trucks loaded with the same type of humanitarian assistance that was being delivered there today 
that aid was designated for the Arab civilian population in Gaza and that aid passed through either the Karam Shalom or Sufa crossings. And Mr. Mazen, on the 14th of March, 2008, last Friday alone, more than 300 tons of humanitarian aid were received in Gaza intended for the civilian population there. And that aid was intended for the same civilian population that danced in the streets just a few days ago when they were informed of the terrorist attack in Yeshiva near Kaz Harav. Mr. Mazen, that concludes this edition of Fact Not Commentary. I am Aviva Lee, reporting live in Jerusalem from room 552 for Israel 246 TV. Thank you and Shalom.